transform you during this program. And then you guys are going to take this stuff out and you're going to transform the world. And it doesn't matter if you're in sixth grade or 12th grade today, God wants to use you powerfully. Don't doubt yourself. Don't get discouraged. Keep your head up and keep going through this whole thing because God is going to blow you away. And I believe, and we're praying as an FCA team that when you guys look back on this time in your life, that you're going to be like, man, that was something that forever changed my life. And guys, I mean, we get to hear from Coach Smiley. We're going to get to hear from Jim and Jill Kelly, Coach McDermott, Tage Thompson from the Sabres, Lorenzo Alexander, Del Reed. I mean, we got a crazy lineup of guest speakers, and we're going to do a celebration at the Bills Stadium at the end of all this. It's going to be so crazy. I don't know how we're going to do it. Like, I don't know. We didn't really plan that far. We just said yes to God. But somehow all of you are going to be there and your families. And it's going to be like just a giant party at the stadium as long as coronavirus lets us do that. So it's going to be so wild. we got got 100 days to do this. And, guys, we just couldn't be more thankful that you signed up and that you're going to be a part of this. So I'm going to, I'm going to help moderate this call. And we're going to bring Coach Smiley to this call. Coach Smiley is the absolute man, guys. I mean, he is a NFL head coach, but – I mean, he's also a dad, and um, he is one of the most humble, energetic guys I've ever met in my whole life, and he makes me better. So I'm so thankful for Coach Smiley. So give him your full attention today. Um, Coach, what's going on? How are you today? Hey, it's good to be here. I think, uh, I think you gave me a promotion there in the introduction. Uh, I'm the assistant special teams coach. I think Jake may have said head coach, uh, maybe someday. Uh, but I'm the special teams coach for the Buffalo Bills. It's good to see all you guys, all your faces. Uh, we did a lot of Zoom with our players during the spring and even a little bit during the season. So I've done, I've done some Zoom, and it's good to see all the tiles with your guys' faces on them. But don't hesitate. If you have any question at any point, shoot it to Jake. Shoot it to Buffalo FCA. That's Gary. If you have any question, Jake, you guys can interrupt me at any time. So. If it's a Buffalo Bills question, uh, other than can I get you Stephon Diggs autograph, uh, ignore those ones. But if there's any interesting Buffalo Bills questions, any special teams questions, uh, anything at all, uh, you, you guys can, uh, Gary, Jake, you guys can interrupt at any time. Uh, the other thing we're going we're gonna to post here in a minute is uh, kind of like an icebreaker survey. So all you guys will be able to answer all the survey questions. No right or wrong answers, and, and you guys know the Zoom stuff probably better than us old folks do, but it's all anonymous on the survey, so you can have fun filling it out, and we'll kind of go through, go through the questions a little bit. Uh, just like Jake said, the, the biggest thing we're trying to do here moving forward in the spring is to encourage you guys to um, get in the Bible, read your Bible, and start to develop questions uh, that you can ask a parent, you can ask here in this group, and, and as you guys move forward, there'll be breakout sessions and different ways for you guys to engage and, and ask questions and interact. But for you guys to start down that path of reading the New Testament and at a minimum say, hold on a second, this part doesn't make sense. That's a fair question. That's a very important question. That's not a middle school or high school question. That's there's 90 year old men that have been studying for years and years and years and years and years, and they get to spots that they've maybe even read before and say, hold on a second, what, what's this trying to say? So there's no bad questions. Uh, different things will different, uh, uh, be interesting to different people. Uh, so the, the big thing is to dive in and, and, and start reading it, start looking at it, and start uh, being able to ask questions and encouraging one another. So. So hopefully we get to do that. Okay, uh, Gary, I'm going to have you launch that survey. We'll see if uh, all of us over the age of 18 can figure this out. Okay, so you guys should all have the survey up on your screen. There's 10 questions, so make sure you keep scrolling. I got one on my screen too, so I'm going to answer it here, but we'll give you a few minutes to answer it. So scroll all the way down as you're answering them. There's 10 questions total. I have uh, my two middle school daughters here right off camera with me, so I will unofficially answer some of these for them. But go ahead, you guys, we'll give you a couple minutes.
Gary, can you see as answers are coming in? Yep. You can, okay. All right, who's my favorite Buffalo Bills player? Obviously, Reed Ferguson, slam dunk. That's a good one. I had to include Reed in there. I mean, Reed's the man. Reed, yeah. It's either Reed, Tyler Bass, or Bojo. That's your only three choices, really. <laughs> All right, answers are flying in. Got about 40% of the way here. Okay, love question seven. If anybody disagrees me, with me on question seven, I'm have a real problem with that. That seems obvious. Um, to the girls in my house, would you rather fight 10 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? 10 duck-sized horses. Would you rather fight 10 duck-sized horses? One horse-sized duck? 10 duck-sized horses. 10 duck-sized? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Okay. Smiley family is united in that one. Hold on. I have two, three questions left. No way. Gross. Can't imagine anybody would say ranch on that one. And finally, ugh, I really dislike Chick-fil-A sauce. <gasps> I'm going to say, sorry guys. Oh, and my daughters are not happy about that. I'm going to say other because I would only use ketchup and usually I don't use sauce. Okay, submit. Wow. No choice. Okay, Gary, how close? That, I had to take the longest on that because I'm probably the oldest on this call. You got about 14. Are we close? Left. A few left. Okay. I'll, you guys go ahead and finish answering. Give them a couple more seconds here. My daughters are asking me if I'm on mute. The answer is no, so I'm sure you guys can hear them whispering at me. <laughs> I can't. All right, we'll call that 81. All right, we'll give it 10 more seconds, and then we'll okay, shut 10 more. Get them in. Make sure you hit submit, even if you got one you haven't answered. All right. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, Gary, you mind if I go through these? Yeah, go to town. All right. Okay, let's see if there's anything interesting. We're split down pretty pretty much down the middle, high school, middle school. Okay, so good blend of uh, folks on the call from that. A lot of North Towns. Okay, every, and obviously everybody knows South Towns get way more snow. Probably your, the people on the call from the South Towns probably a little tougher than the people from the North, North Towns. That's pretty, I don't know that that's a debate, okay? Have you ever read through the New Testament? Okay, about split on that. So for the people that haven't, this is gonna be very fun. This is gonna be good new info. And for the folks that have, you probably already know you're going to find things or at least see things in a way that you hadn't thought about them yet. So that's perfect. Okay. What is your main sport? Football taking the lead. Oh, other. Okay. I, now I'm going to, I'm going to, this is probably a bad idea. Type in, if you can type into everybody, we're getting some stuff on the side. What's the other? Basketball, baseball, football, hockey, so soccer, cross cut, no wrestling, no cross country. Good one. Golf, rolling, rowing, gymnastics. Okay. Okay. You're okay. You're oh, there's a lot that weren't on there. That's my fault. Okay. Next one. Who is your favorite bills player? Josh Allen, 38% Diggs, 37, Trey, 11, Matt Milano, who just got re-signed. Reed Ferguson, 6%, other with seven. I'm going to ask the same thing. Who's your other? What names are coming up with your other? Go ahead and type them in in the chat. Let's see what we get. Reed Ferguson is going to be on this call in a couple weeks. So I hope if this question comes up again when Reed's on the dot Bass, okay, there we go. Cole Beasley, good one. When Reed is on this call, Please let's, ooh, Duke Williams, love it. Great pull there. When Reed's on the call, he's our favorite guy. Let's just all agree to that. Okay, let's keep moving on. Which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, vacuum the house, 
Mow the Lawn is a big winner. I went with Mow the Lawn as well. Would you rather fight 10 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? The only right answer there is 10 duck-sized horses. They're tiny. It doesn't matter that there's a lot of them. You would have no problem defeating them. You do not want to fight a duck the size of a horse. Oh, they aren't aggressive. Whoever that was, that's smart. But they's giant. And if a duck gets mad at you, it will attack you. So I'm, I still think it's 10 horse-sized, duck-sized horses. Okay, should pine, pineapple be on a pizza? Absolutely not. Gross. That is the correct answer. Good work to the people that answered that way. Blue cheese or ranch? Blue cheese, that, that too is correct. All you ranch guys, get on board with blue cheese. It takes a while to get used to it, but you just gotta push through. And finally, what's your favorite Chick-fil-A sauce? 66% with the original. Somebody going strong with the Polynesian. There's one person that went Polynesian and then other, I was another person, I went with the ketchup. Okay, let me close these down. Or I may not be able to, Gary, or everybody close on their own screen, probably. Okay, I'm gonna tell you uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm gonna share a Bible verse with you. And as a reminder, anything, Anything that you want, uh, Jake and Gary at Buffalo FCA, if you want them to interrupt, send it directly to them. Because I, I, as I'm talking, I'll, I'll have a hard time uh, looking at the chat to everyone. Uh, feel free to keep typing just for the fun. Keep the heckles to a minimum, but they are uh, not outlawed. So anything you want to put in there is fair game. But if you want them to interrupt with a question, then send it directly to those guys. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I've been in Buffalo for four seasons now, getting ready for year number five with the Buffalo Bills. I've been an NFL football coach for the last eight years. And before that, I was a college football coach for 12 years. Grew up in Illinois. My wife and I actually went to the same high school. Our high school mascot in Illinois was the corn jerker. It's an ear of corn. A poor kid had to dress up in an ear of corn to be the mascot at our football games. Uh, when I was in high school and my wife was in high school, it was Trisha Rails. Trisha Rails, sweet, lovely lady. She was the mascot and had to dress up in the ear of corn. But we were the corn jerkers. My wife and I went to different colleges. I went to the University of Illinois. She went to Eastern Illinois and ran track there. I played football at U of I. And I was a walk on to the football team. So I did. ROTC, Air Force ROTC to pay for school. Complete side note, but especially for you high schoolers, figure out how to go to college without student debt. I know it's easier said than done, and that probably will be, that needs to be a whole session at some point. But I did it by doing Air Force ROTC because I was not a good enough football player to get a scholarship. So Uncle Sam paid for my school. That meant after I graduated, I had to be in the active duty Air Force. And I was in for four years stationed in North Dakota. So anybody that thinks it gets chilly in Buffalo, nothing like North Dakota. We had nights in North Dakota. It was minus 40 without the wind chill. It was just on the thermometer, minus 40. So my wife and I were up there for four years. I deployed all over, all over the globe. I was actually active duty when 9-11 uh, happened. So obviously right after that, all of us were, were deployed a ton. And after I separated from the Air Force, uh, then I started coaching college football. And that's when we started uh, having our family. Uh, we had our first daughter, Madeline, in 2007, second daughter, Ella, in 2009, third daughter, Ava, in 2011, and then our boy, Caleb, in 2013. So I have four kids. Um, even though they're every two-year birth uh, grades right now, they're eighth grade, sixth grade, third grade, first grade. So we got a lot of kids running around the Smiley house. The fact, and we also have two dogs. The fact that it's quiet right now and you guys can hear me talking is nothing short of a miracle. It's usually very loud here, as I'm sure it is at a lot of your guys' houses. But we bounced around in college football for a long time and then uh, finally got a break and was able to coach in the NFL. And that's, that's 
been a tremendous experience to be up here with the Buffalo Bills. Uh, the, the fans up here in Buffalo, in Western New York, uh, you guys on the call that are big football fans, I've never been around anything like it. The fans here in uh, Buffalo are unlike anywhere else I've seen in the NFL. I could only, co I could only compare it to some of the college places I've been where the, the fans are truly supporters of the team. We have phenomenal neighbors, and win or lose, they love the Buffalo Bills. And that's been great for us. It's been great for our family that, that you guys let us be a part of your community. So that's been a big deal for us. Now, as far as my uh, history with FCA, I was in FCA when I was in high school. Uh, the Bible I still use today is all torn up. I got it at an FCA camp between my junior and senior year of high school. And that's the one I still use today. And I use the first few pages for anything, a verse that hits me or uh, when I think of something, being able to write it down and uh, so I can recall it. And that's been for the last uh, 20 years now, more than 20 years without telling you all you guys how old I am. But uh, I've been involved in FCA since high school. I was able to do it in college. We had a uh, FCA chapter at the University of Illinois, was able to do it at college. And then at different colleges I've been at, um, some had FCA, others had other forms of Bible study. But FCA, I always thought, was a tremendous way to get athletes together because a lot of times as an athlete, you're going through some of the same struggles. Even if it's a different sport, even if it's an 11th grader talking to an eighth grader, if you're trying to be good at a sport, you have a lot of the same struggles, whether it's extra time at practices, whether it's dealing with uh, competition, whether it's dealing with people on your team, whether it's dealing with extra stress or extra temptations, you guys go through stuff that people that aren't in athletics and don't put, push their stuff then that's, uh, that's something that you guys have in common that is a, is a good way for you guys to help each other out, is a good way for you guys to encourage one another. So that, that's always made FCA really special to me, and I think it's a, it's a good way to form that community together. Um, I want to read you guys a Bible verse. Now, we're going to be going through the New Testament as we go uh, the next few weeks, but I want to, this is one of my favorites, and this was a big one for me this year. This is Galatians chapter 5, uh, chapter 5, verse 22. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. That's one of my favorites because as somebody who deals with competitive sports every single day and elite athletes every single day, a lot of times uh, the biggest thing people care about is, hey, make sure you win the game. Make sure you're the best. Make sure you beat the other guy. Do whatever is necessary to make the goal, hit the shot, win the race. That's the most important thing. This verse is very, very powerful to me because it reminds me that if I am not showing patience with my athletes, then I got issues. If I don't have joy in my heart, then I have issues. Doesn't matter if it's win or loss. So that's, that's an important verse to me, and we'll, we'll get to that eventually as we get to Galatians as we go. Uh, I'm going to pause for a minute. Uh, Jake, Gary, are there any, any questions right now you want to shoot my way? Definitely. Well, first of all, that's a great verse, Coach. Um, when you're on the bench and, you know, this the heat of the moment or it's a big game or you got to work a lot and you're getting ready for your you're, – you're getting the team ready, you know, how do you get the fruits of the Spirit? You know, it's uh, – what do you do when it's like, oh, my gosh, everything just feels like it's going haywire? What's your – what are some things that you do? And we actually have a coach's Bible study – at um, at the stadium. So uh, there's a few of us coaches that get together on a regular basis, and our chaplain, Len Vandenboss, leads us in a Bible study, and we are able to get in the Word and talk through verses together and really help us get perspective that when it is 
fourth down and the game's on the line, it, it's good to remember what's really important. That's huge. So we did have a couple more questions come in. Uh, so when you're playing a big team, do you ever get scared? Uh, big team, like if there's, if there's a big game or there's a really good opponent, what usually ends up happening for both coaches and players, you really get focused on whatever your job is. The, the little details that you can take care of to make the team better. So you, do, you, you can get intimidated if you start thinking about everybody else's job. Boy, I hope this guy does that. I hope that player makes sure he does that. And, and that can get uh, distracting. But usually what I try to do is, okay, what, what do I control? What can I make sure is done right to help my little part to help the team be successful? Cool. So uh, what, what was being your, thank you so much coach for your service in the military. And we just honor you guys. I don't know if you know this, but uh, coach was deploy, deployed four times and he received the U S air force commendation medal for his efforts. And, you know, sports are awesome, but, you know, coach is a guy who stepped up and served our country and protected our freedoms. So we are all super grateful, coach, for you making that sacrifice for us. Um, what was it like being in the military and how does that, how has that helped you in your life and as a coach? Um, my dad was a, he retired as a colonel. He was a jet pilot. And so I was around it when I was young. My experience in the military and the Air Force was phenomenal. I loved it. Uh, I would have stayed in, but I knew even before I went in and served that I wanted to be a football coach. So after my commitment was done, I separated. But even with all the deployments, all the places I went, um, all the stressful situations that we had to go through, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it, was, I thought it was, number one, a phenomenal way to pay for school, and number two, a phenomenal way to learn, uh, just in situations that I never would have been in otherwise. Super cool. Uh, what is your favorite part about living in Buffalo? Oh, good question. We came from Florida, and before that, we were in South Carolina, so warm weather, beaches, phenom you know, you didn't have to deal with shoveling your driveway, but more than anything, we miss the seasons. Growing up in Illinois and spending time up north, being able to have a phenomenal spring day, you know, when it starts to get warm, we, we snuck one in, I think, last week, but those, those, those great spring days when everything gets green and it's warm, and those great fall days when the leaves are turning, uh, we started a tradition since we've moved up here that every fall, uh, Fridays are a lighter day for us in at work. So we go out, uh, the family goes out and goes apple picking in the fall. And then we always go out and pick our own Christmas tree and cut it down, just like uh, Clark Griswold. But those type of things that on a, on a perfect fall day are amazing that you, you can't do down south. So probably the seasons is, is one of my favorite parts. So we had some folks, some, uh, some of our athletes messaging earlier that, you know, their favorite team wasn't the Bills. So uh -oh. I, don't, I don't know what, I don't know what they were thinking. Just kidding guys. But coach, you, you're working with our favorite NFL players, the best team in the NFL, the Buffalo Bills. What's it like to work with NFL players every single day of your life? What's it like working with the guys here in Buffalo? Well, I'll, t I'll tell you for anybody that said their favorite team isn't the Bills, I have to remind my dad when he comes out to watch a game or in, in years past before COVID, because he's a big Green Bay Packers fan. He grew up a Packers fan. He loves the Packers. And a couple of years ago, we went to Green Bay and played them. And I had to remind him, hey, I got you these tickets. Please make sure you're rooting for the Buffalo Bills. But so I, I get that, that some loyalties are divided. Uh, but uh, I, I love being a part of the Buffalo Bills. I love being a part of this community. And it's, it's great working with the athletes that we do, uh, just being in, in a partnership with them to try, to try to make them as good as they can be. So we had a question come in about what the Bills need to work on, but let's just talk from a special team standpoint and the guys that you work with. What are you guys doing in the summer right now? Um, because obviously you're not all in the same place. Um, season doesn't start for a little while. What are some things that you guys do now to kind of get ready for the season? 
what the guy – really, the guys are on break right now. So, after that long season, them having to play 16 games plus three in the playoffs, they need time off. They need time off physically and mentally. So, uh, all other than the injured guys, almost all those guys are out of town now, kind of uh, taking a little bit of a break. Some of them will start getting back in shape just with non-football activities. So starting to starting to swim and, and run and walk and maybe lift a little bit bit of weights now, but they're on their break. They won't really get cranking back up probably until later this month. And then depending on whether or not they're back in the building, like last year they were not just because of COVID. And we're not we're not sure yet how that'll work out this year. So uh, in about a month they'll really start cranking up, and that's when we would normally start spring practices. So, Coach, for most of us older folks here are used to watching the Bills play Sundays at 1, but now we're looking at a lot of 4 o'clock, a lot of 8 o'clock, a lot of Monday night games because you guys are just tearing it up. So what's your favorite part about game day, whether you're playing at 1 or whether you're playing, like, on Monday night football? Like, what's, what's the best part of all that for you? Um, I would say the, the excitement uh, of – the coin toss, knowing that the next play is going to be a special teams play no matter what. So it's either kickoff or kickoff return. So every single Sunday for the last eight years, I know right after the coin toss, the special teams are going to be on the field. So that's, that's, uh, that's always exciting for me, right? Uh, the preparation and the anticipation right before it gets started. Very cool. Um, how, when did you realize that you wanted to be a coach and do you miss playing? Uh, that's a great question. I, I actually realized I wanted to be a coach uh, probably when I was getting done with high school. So when I was a senior in high school, getting ready to go to college, I thought that I would, I would uh, like to coach. When I was in high school, I played basketball, I played football, I ran track, and then a couple years I actually wrestled too. And so I was always very involved as an athlete. Um, and even in college as a player playing football, I knew that I was doing it primarily to learn as much as I could about the game because I knew I wanted to be a coach. So really going uh, through my senior year, I began to realize, you know what, I think I want to coach. I don't know what, at what level, but I think that was the direction I was headed. Cool. We'll leave you with this, with this last question. Um, can you guarantee a, what does that say? A Super Bowl? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to ask that question. We all know it's coming, folks. Um, what, how has reading the Bible impacted you in your life? And if you could just encourage us all as we go on this journey, what would you say? I'd say a couple, the biggest things as you guys start to move forward with this, and one of them we talked about a little bit earlier, but the more you read, the more questions you're going to have for starters, which is, that's, that's what you want. You want. You want to build that curiosity. You want to learn more about God. You want to learn more about how you can better live your life and deal with situations and problems as they arise. So that curiosity that's going to be created by reading is super positive. That's number one. And then number two, to a, as you read and as you get your questions answered and as you learn, that foundation you're building is a giant help when uh, things pop up that you weren't expecting. Whether they be real good or real bad, having that foundation of, of knowing um, how God uh, is looking out for you and wants you to live and is encouraging you, that's, that's stuff that's super important whether you're going through really good things or really bad things. So I, I would encourage you guys to, as you, as you grow and as you read, make sure that uh, you are being very curious and any adult that says, hey, that's a bad question or, hey, you should already know that or, hey, uh, why, you, why are you giving me a hard time asking me that? Probably on to something. So you, can keep, you can keep asking them. Good word, Coach. Well, uh... Would you, we're, uh, we just thank you for being with us. Would you pray for, for us, for, pray for FCA, pray for this group, pray for every single um, athlete on this call right now that God would do something big in our lives? Um, I, I will. Uh, let me say one thing too before we pray uh, and I, I get going. 
Uh, the other thing, because uh, we do have high school and middle schoolers on this call, anybody on the call that's a junior and senior in high school, and I, I kind of just real flippantly said, yeah, yeah, I knew I wanted to be a coach, and here I am 20 years later, it all worked out. For you guys that are juniors and seniors going, uh, I don't know where I want to go to school. I don't know if I want to go to school. I don't know what I'm going to do after school. Though That stress is real, and that those are all – fair questions to ask as far as exploration. So even though I say, hey, yeah, I knew I wanted to be a coach, I, I remember going down to um, a university close to where I grew up to sit with an econ professor and sat, because, hey, maybe I'm interested in economics. So I sat with them, uh, uh, was able to talk and ask questions. And after that meeting, I knew, okay, I don't want anything to do with econ. But that was very helpful for me as I was trying to figure it out. So I don't want to just brush over that, especially for the juniors and seniors on the call, that um, it, it, be diligent, be, be active. And if you're interested in something, try to, try to find out more about it. And you may, you may see that you love it, or you may see uh, that, wasn't, that wasn't what I thought it was, and you can head in a different path. So I, I didn't want to uh, skim over that too fast, especially for the, for the older guys on the call. Okay, let me pray real quick, and then uh, we'll get uh, get going. Father God, thank you for our time together. Uh, thank you for all the families that are represented on this call. Uh, please help these young men and women to stay encouraged. Please help them to be diligent as they're learning and as they're curious. And we know that that you'll be in that, and you'll bless them as they go. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Guys, let's thank Coach Smiley. Thank you, guys. He's the man. Everyone do a little clap, do a heart emoji, whatever it is you got going there. Put it in the Zoom. Coach Smiley, let's go, Bills. See Love you, me. guys. Have fun. Thanks, Coach. Hey, uh, Coach Smiley is, is a mighty man of God, and um, we're just grateful for him. And hope you guys – Hope you guys enjoyed hearing from them. We're going to have some amazing guests. Like, it's going to be so fun. So can't wait to do this journey with you guys. Well, just so you guys know, we're going to give you a, a couple announcements on what exactly you guys need to do to be a part of this program and to be able to participate in the stadium celebration party at the end. Because there are some things that you'll have to do um, and be a part of in order to complete this program. And we want to make sure that you're equipped to do that. So. This is gonna be 15 Zoom meetings every Sunday at five o'clock. And then, uh, so for each Zoom meeting, we're gonna have a special guest from the Bills or the Sabres or a really uh, like a, a local leader. And that uh, for about half an hour. And then the second half hour, we're gonna go into breakout rooms. So this is the only call that we're not doing breakout rooms. Gary's gonna talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. Um, but just be ready for that, that you guys will be in a smaller group and you'll be able to talk about what was going on in the reading or, or any um, things that you thought were cool that our special guest said. So we're definitely looking forward to getting these breakout rooms going and everyone will have their own leader. Um, Gary is gonna come and talk a little bit about kind of what are some things that you guys need to be aware of in terms of apps and technology and make sure that you're kind of paying attention. And then some of the guys that have been uh, planning this out and been putting in the work to get this thing going are going to come on. Uh, they're they're uh, youth pastors, sports directors, leaders from uh, Western New York. So we'll tee them up in just a second. But Gary, I'm going to kick it over to you and uh, tell us what we need to do, man. Yeah. Thanks, Jake. Um, so yeah, we're going to do 15 weekly Zooms here. Um, the expectation for going to the stadium is that you're here for 80% of the Zoom. So that's 12 out of 15 of the Zooms. Um, if you can't make one, you don't really have to let us know. Um, but yeah, 12 out of 15 is the expectation. Uh, we're going to be using a few different apps. So we're going to use an app called Kahoot, um, which we're going to have some of our leaders talk about what exactly we're going to be doing with that. That's K-A-H-O-O-T. A lot of you guys probably use it for school already. Um, we're also going to be using the Uversion app, the Bible app. We're going to have a plan that I emailed out to everybody already in there that you can follow along with. It keeps track of your reading. Um, one of our leaders, Jordan, is going to go more in depth about that as well. Um, 
And then also Remind app. We're gonna use the Remind app to keep in touch with everybody with text messages. So either you or your parents, um, just make sure you sign up for that. We sent that out earlier today. If you didn't get it, just let us know. Send us your name and your phone number. We can add you guys to that. So everyone is getting those notifications. Um, then yeah basically once uh we go through all the 15 we'll give you guys the date for the bills celebration once we have it and that's all finalized um we'll we'll do awards we'll hand out t-shirts and bibles there and then hang out hopefully some bills players will be there we're still working on exact details there but hopefully we can hang out in person and, yeah do non-covid stuff so did i miss anything i think i got everything i think we're good to go so hey um Let's try not to do the chat too much. It's a little distracting, especially with just, you know, some of the stuff that we're putting in there. Um, we can definitely use it when we get on these calls. We can definitely use it for questions and talking to our guests. And if you guys want to, you know, say hi to each other and stuff, that's cool too. But let's not, um, let's not make that a distraction for other people, okay? And uh, Gary, what he's going to do if, if it's like going crazy is just that, We'll just have to shut it off, okay, guys? So let's just just have respect for, for the other people that are on this call. Um, we're going to bring up Bjorn and Noah, and uh, they're going to talk a little bit about the game we got going and what it's going to look like with our guest speakers. Check, check, one, two. Hello, everybody. <laughs> What's good, everyone? So uh, like Jake introduced, uh, my name is Bjorn, and my partner in crime there, Noah, is – listed as Watermark. We're from Watermark Wesleyan Hello. Church uh, down in Hamburg. Um, and so what I want you to do, um, ignore what Jake said. No, just kidding. You can listen to him. He's, he's smart. He knows what he's talking <laughs> about. Um, but what I need is I need everyone to put in the chat, say yes, if you used Kahoot before and say no, if you have not. Um, if I see a single no answer, then I'm going to go through what it is. <laughs> We're looking. Okay. I got a no. All right, here it is. So <laughs> Kahoot, like uh, Gary spelled it, mentioned it, K-A-H-O-O-T. Kahoot's a game. Um, we're going to do one of these every single week. It's going to be a game, um, kind of like a quiz. We're going to have some, some questions about our guests that week. We're going to send the Kahoot out to you guys, the game, on Friday. You need to complete it before Sunday. All right? So you got to complete it before Sunday. Now, what we're going to do is whoever gets the most points from this game, you get points by answering the questions correctly and by answering them quickly. So the quicker you answer them and the more you answer correctly, the more points you get. The person from our entire group that gets the highest score, they will earn one entry to win the Bills tickets at the end of the program. So the way this is going to work, I'm going to explain it to you. Every single person that's a part of this group has already received two entries into the drawing to win the Bills tickets at the end of the season. There will be a variety of different ways throughout the program, throughout the training camp, that you'll be able to earn more entries to make your chance of winning those tickets even better and better. And one of those ways is by participating in the Kahoot game each week, and we'll give one entry to uh, the winner of that game each week. So I hope that makes sense. If you do have questions, um, reach out to the, the leader that you're associated with. Um, reach out to Jake or Gary. Um, we'll be able to help you out there. Um, yeah, other things. When you do complete the Kahoot game, you need to use your first and last name when you do that so that we know who you are. Because if, if we have a Josh Allen that completes the Kahoot and wins, we know Josh Allen is not a part of this right now, so we're not going to be able to give that. We'll give it to the second. Not yet, Bjorn. Not yet. I, oh, I, yeah, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> um, so that's the deal with the Kahoot games. Um, yeah. Anything I'm missing there, Noah? No, I think you're good in terms of Kahoot. Um, I think the other app that we'll need, Jake, it's the Remind app, correct? Mm -hmm. yes. Yep. So – I, how many of you guys have used Remind app? If you've used it, same thing like Bjorn said, put in yes or no. We'd love to know if you use the Remind app. A lot of no's. Okay. All right. I'm seeing yes, no. It's rapid fire right now. All right. No, maybe so. I like it. Okay. Well, we'll need that. We'll need you guys to download the Remind app. Um, 
earlier you guys saw Coach Smiley on here. So we'll be using that for, for you to send in questions before we have our next guest on. So that way we can filter out some of the questions and uh, just ask some of the questions that you guys ask versus, hey, message it or text Jake and he's getting a million texts at once. So Remind app, if you wanna have a question for our next guest, that's where you wanted to go do it. So two apps, Kahoot, and Remind, those are pretty easy to remember, but Remind and Kahoot app. And if you need help with that, ask your parents, ask an older sibling, Google it. Google's pretty nice for a lot of things. And so. you guys have Jake Hannon's number, so just text them. <laughs> there you go. There all you right, go. Jake, I think that's all on our end. Um, if there's anything we missed, we will make sure to communicate that further. All right, so yes, so Bjorn, uh, it's Friday they're gonna get sent out, correct? So this Friday will be the first Kahoot, and it's gonna be next week's guest, who is Reed Ferguson from the Buffalo Bills. So they need to look for that Friday, correct? Correct, yep, and they'll have to complete it sometime before the Zoom call starts at 5 p.m. on Sunday. So sometime between Friday and Sunday, uh, you gotta complete the Kahoot game to have a chance to win. All right, so you're telling me everyone gets two entries to win the random drawing of Bills tickets. Now, I don't know if you know this, but it's eight, eight sets of four tickets, guys. Mm -hmm. Eight sets of four tickets, two preseason uh, games as well. So everyone's getting two entries, Bjorn, and then all they got to do is play Kahoot, and they get if they win, they get another entry at uh, right. the banquet, right? Yep, the, w the winner of the Kahoot game um, – when we do those each week, we'll also gain another entry. And you guys will learn there'll be a, a few other ways that we can uh, earn entries throughout the program as well. Um, and we'll explain more about what those are when the time comes in the future. Yeah, yeah, so 32 tickets plus preseason. Good question from someone to everyone there. But uh, this is gonna be so fun. There's gonna be other ways that uh, you can win these tickets too, doing challenges, so we want you guys to be involved and engaged. And we're going to do a sweet award ceremony at the end. So your leaders are going to be looking out for those of you that are stepping up and participating in the groups. We're going to give away awards at the, uh, at the award ceremony at the end. We're going to be giving away your Bibles and your T-shirts there. And we're going to do uh, drawings for these tickets. So you've got you've to do these things to increase your chances of, of winning the tickets. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks, Bjorn. Um, and Noah, I know Noah's going to be kind of running, doing my job and running the, uh, the Q and A's and the stuff with, um, with our guests from now on. So, um, make sure we'll get, make sure Noah's information gets out there, uh, and we'll make sure you guys get that so you can, uh, interact with our guests. It's going to be sweet. All right. So we got another prize to give away and, uh, my main man, Adam Williams, who just preached the fire this morning at Kenmore Alliance Church is uh, going to tell us a little bit about how we can win another prize. What's happening, everybody? So good to see you guys. I want to give it up for those of you that have been driving in the car. Um, I've been looking at the different video, and I see people in vehicles um, and that are in here and then are getting their siblings in the video that don't want to be in the video. It's been great. Great fun. Great Zoom experience here. So, hey, it is awesome to see you guys again. My name is Adam Williams. I'm a youth pastor at Kenmore Alliance Church. I see some of my people in here, so good to see you guys. Um, great to meet many of you. Um, hey, we are going to give away something pretty sweet. We're giving away a drone. Who wants a drone? That Yeah, I want a drone. So we're not going to do a contest. I'm just going to keep the drone. That's what's going to happen. No, I'm just kidding. Here's the deal. Here's how you get that drone, all right? We are looking to get more people involved in this, their experience, getting people in the Bible. Um, other athletes, other people that would be interested in a program like this. And so we have opened the window a little bit longer until Thursday for you guys to still get people registered. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little referral contest. So if you um, tell your friends, get them plugged in, get them involved in this over the next week by Thursday, you make sure when they sign up that they use you as a referral. And then we will then announce the winner on Sunday for who is going to get that drone. Okay. So if you make sure that you do that, um, that would be awesome. And then we want to see this thing continue to blow up. I think we, we reached over 100 subscriptions before this call even happened. 
we'd love to see more and more people in the Bible. That's the whole purpose of this thing, man. We want to help you guys get in the word. And that's why all these athletes and all these different leaders are, are here to um, facilitate this. And so, yeah, so we're excited. So if, I, I'm excited to see who gets a drone. So make sure you invite some people. That's what I got. Love it. Let's go. I want to win the drone. I might just put a bunch of entries in myself. So That's all true. you got to do is invite friends, text them the link, and make sure that their friend puts their name. When it, when it says on the registration, it'll say, who told you about training camp? Make sure your friend puts you, right, Adam? That's right. If they, if they use, they could use my name though, and maybe I can get some entries. So maybe that, that's fine with me, whatever it takes. All right. Perfect. Sounds good. Thanks, Adam. All right. So let's get after that drone. Let's get some more athletes in here. We're so pumped. All right. Last one. Um, we've got Jordan Hilke from Evangel and uh, he's, he is, he is a master artist. You guys are going to think that like, like, like uh, one of the 12 disciples wrote the de devotions that we're going to be reading, like Peter or Paul, but it was actually Jordan Hilke from Evangel Church who did it. He is the man. So he is going to tell us about how to get involved in the Uversion app and uh, what we got to do to get into the Bible reading program, which starts tomorrow. Right, Jordan? Yes, sir. Uh, guys, thanks again so much for uh, being a part of this. This is absolutely amazing. And um, thanks to Jake for all the work he's done and Gary and all the great pastors on here. You guys are all awesome and you've done a great job just getting people plugged in. We're excited about you guys reading God's word. We believe that it's one of the most valuable things you can do. And so <clears throat> whether you have an Android or an Apple device, uh, just go onto your app store and type in the word version. It's all one word. And um, it's a free app that you can download. And this is an app that we hope you keep far after this program. We want you to continue reading your Bible and reading God's word. And um, on Uversion, we created a plan, as Jake mentioned, that, uh, that, that we wrote up for, just for you guys, just for this program. So at the beginning of every week, every single Monday, you're going to read the devotional and then it's going to be either two or three chapters every single day. So you're going to go through, and as you complete reading a chapter, you'll just check it off, check it off. And then at the very end of each day, you're going to have a section called Talk About It. So in that section, you're going to write some of your thoughts from what you read, uh, maybe, maybe write in some questions for, for us or for your breakout time. Um, maybe even some of those questions will be read or answered by our guest on the next Zoom call. So that space is for you to write about the content that you've been reading. And um, we're actually going to send out, after this call, we're going to send out two links that can get you in these groups. So we're going to have a high school group, which is grades 9 through 12. And then we're going to have a middle school group for grades 6 through 8. So I was looking at the poll earlier and we're actually kind of split like 45 high school and 55% middle school. So it's going to be perfect. So we just really wanted you guys to be with like-minded people uh, that are in the same uh, age category as you and going through similar things. This is a place where you can share about what God's saying to you as you're reading uh, and, and just write in your questions and, and write anything that you have about the scripture that you've read. So um, so keep an eye on your email, the same email that you got from Jake when you guys registered, you're going to get a link and, and just choose the link that is associated with your age group. So you get in with the right people. And then, um, it starts tomorrow and just make sure as you go through to hit those check boxes so that you can complete each and every day as you read, uh, you version has been so nice to let us create a plan and uh, use their platform. And guys, this, this app ha is the most uh, downloaded Bible out of any other app. It's absolutely amazing. You can highlight, you can write notes, you can change the version um, to, to whatever you guys want. So it's a really awesome app and it's a free app and it's an app that we really hope you guys learn to enjoy. You can also add friends on there. I saw in the chat that some people were saying they don't have any friends. Well, guess what? You can get a version friend um, and uh, you can go ahead and add them on there and uh, you can follow Jake, you can follow Adam, you can follow me. You could just add even some of the leaders on here and and uh, just get connected. It's It's got a nice social feature so that you can 
our, our heart with this, guys, is, is not to read through God's word and not grow alone, but to do it together. And so um, this is going to keep us all connected to do it together through this process and hopefully into the future. Awesome. So yeah, we did have a question. If you want to read like a real Bible, if you don't like using like a phone or a tablet, you can do that. But the way we're going to know if you've completed the New Testament is through that Bible app. So you have to sign up for the Bible app plan. And if you're going to be using a real Bible, that's fine. Just make sure when you finish what you're reading in the real Bible, check that, check that scripture off on the app because we have to see all those check marks on your app in order for you to uh, be able to participate in that year-end celebration so um yeah sounds good all right well we only have three minutes left jordan thank you again um we're going to email your your guys's like parents out we're going to blast all this information about on the remind app as well as through email blast every single week so make sure you um check those emails tell your parents Guys, I got to get the remind. We got to get the remind app. Make sure you subscribe in that. Tell them to uh, make sure they're checking their emails. We're going to send three emails a week. Every Monday, we're going to send the recording of the Zoom call. Again, we, you guys do have to be on 12 of those calls to qualify for the uh, celebration at the end. Um, but we're going to send those out every week. We're also going to send out information on the next week's guest. Um, and Q&A uh, for Noah to grab so he can do Q&A with that guest. So if you have a question um, for that guest the following week, we can take those questions. Um, Friday, we're going to send an email about Kahoot and make sure you guys get that game so you can try to get another bid in for those tickets. And then Sunday, we'll make sure we're sending out the Zoom link for you guys so you can get on every week. And this is going to be so epic. All right, uh, Gary, did we miss anything? All right. Don't think so. I think we got it all. All right. So if you have any questions at all, please reach out to us. Um, you can send us an email. You can send us uh, a text message or whatever that is. You guys have my phone number um, on there and uh, please reach out. Yes, CJ. Thanks, Mr. Fancher, for making this. Let's give a big clap, heart, whatever, party. I'm going to give Mr. Fancher a party because he makes us all happy and blesses us. He's the man, great idea. And uh, this is gonna be so great guys. All right, hey, we love you guys. We want you all to know that you're accepted. There's nothing you need to do to prove yourself or anything like that. We're just pumped to have you in this program and uh, let's get in the word this week. It's gonna be so great. And uh, we'll see you next Sunday at five o'clock for special guest Reed Ferguson from the Bills. Reed Ferguson from the Bills. Love you guys. Have a good day.